All right, Triple R coming at you from Glacier National Park, number 23. So pretty much uh, halfway through the parks in the lower 48. I uh, just, just entered, entered the park and now I'm uh, driving to Bowman Lake to do some hiking. But this is part one. So I'm going to let you see what I uh, did over the last two weeks as I worked my way here. I saw some pretty cool stuff. And then, um, then I will see you at Bowman Lake for part two. Go ahead, take a look. Bridal Vale Falls in Provo, 607 foot. I'm sitting on a ledge at Bridal Vale Falls and I haven't seen anybody else come up this way. It's pretty steep and uh, it's already got me a little bit freaked out. Had to. Uh, hold cord in two separate places climbing up and uh, not sure how, how far I want to go uh, flip the camera on shape well here I sit looking down check this out I'm at the uh, home of Brigham Young University in Provo. So I'm hiking uh, to the Big Y that's on the side of the mountain. It's about, I think about a 1500 foot climb. I guess when you get up to the Y, you're supposed to be able to have a nice view of uh, BYU and Provo. We'll see. All right, well, I'm stopping here. So I want to show you that white line, white mark. That is the Y. Uh, very, very prominent from the interstate. I'll take a picture of it when I get back towards the campground. I believe that body of water out there is Lake Powell. Right down below, there's the Brigham Young University. And there's the uh, football stadium. All right, well, I'm entering uh, Craters of the Moon National Monument. So uh, a few miles away still from uh, getting into the park and the visitor center and a trail. But uh, saw the sign and uh, wanted to take a quick stop. Well, it's a great day to be at Craters of the Moon National Monument in Idaho. This is all lava rock out here. And uh, it's in the low 60s. The sun is out, there's a steady breeze. And uh, I'm just doing this three and a half mile trail out here. I'm staying at Lake Walcott State, pa State Park. It was a two hour drive to get here. That's okay. I, uh, I've been hearing about this and I wanted to come out and check it out. 
But that's not the end of the driving day. When I leave here, I got an hour and a half to Shoshone Falls. One of the tallest waterfalls in the U.S. 212 feet, 900 feet wide. Then after that, I got an hour drive back to the state park. It's gonna be a full day. <laughs> and tomorrow, I head into Boise for four nights. And I was online last night at the campsite looking for must-see things or what's to do in Boise since I'm there for four days. And tomorrow when I get in, KISS is playing at the Taco Bell Arena four miles from uh, the campground. <laughs> thinking about it, thinking about it. I've seen them before. So. We'll see. All right, I'm off. Well, you probably can't tell that that is uh, depressed down into the earth, but it's got a couple of cool deep craters, one on each side of me. Maybe that gives a little, uh, a little better perception right there. Standing in a in an old lava bed, who knows how old. Pretty crazy. Those are called spatter cones. Wow, spectacular. Shoshone Falls. That's the Snake River, and there's uh, something really cool about that right there, right there. I'm gonna go take a walk over, I'll tell you about it. So that, that portion of the Snake River that I that was just showing you is uh, got some uh, historical significance. If I can, I'm gonna see if I can get over there. I don't know if I can. I see a lookout up there, but I don't see a path to get over there. Anyway, it's uh, where Evil Knievel had his epic epic fail of his uh, rocket launch trying to get across the Snake River and just the whole thing st stopped immediately, he parachuted down to the water. And uh, I remember seeing that on TV when I was a kid. It was like something on Navy Seas, Wide World of Sports. But uh, 
you could YouTube that uh, and check it out. But this, it's right here, right where I'm standing. It's, uh, Evil Knievel's uh, Snake River Jump, and you, you can see it. All right, well, I just heard from some locals about some base jumpers that are uh, one more exit up and thought as I left, I'd dro drive by and pull over and see if I got lucky and uh, could spot any and get them on film. It's a coin flip, but let's check it. I'm at the uh, top of Table Rock in downtown Boise. Uh, the old penitentiary is uh, down below and right at the base of the trailhead. There's the old Boise State Penitentiary. Just a touring spot now. So there's the uh, unusual blue turf of the Boise State Broncos. Well, this is pretty unique. I mean, just snow is everywhere behind me, all over. It's uh, July 11th. I'm at Hell's Canyon on the Idaho side. And uh, it's the deepest gorge in the United States, over 8,000 feet, more than 2,000 deeper than the Grand Canyon. I'm walking a quarter mile to the scenic point, but I don't think I'm going to be able to see anything. It's a lot of fog cover, so. And I'm unprepared completely. We'll see. All right, I got a clear moment. So um, what I'm looking at there is the five of the seven devil towers. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. Grand Canyon's wider, a lot wider. Yeah, yeah, like a mile or something, right? Yeah, it, it's quite quite wide, but this one here's the deepest. Look at that, how the, how those peaks got covered just mm -hmm. like that within 120 so, so. seconds. Yep. Gone. Good thing I got it. That's, yeah, I wish we could see some peaks because uh, it's pretty trippy to think that, that we're much higher than the Grand Canyon. Oh, yeah. Grand Canyon's is, it's minimal compared to us. <laughs> Grand Canyon, the deepest point is about uh, 6,100 feet, I think it is. But even if this was clear, you still wouldn't be able to see down to the gorge, would you? So this is basically... Pure Hard Rock, Volbeat on Octane. How are you? Are you good? You ready for the day? I'm excited to be back hanging out with you. I was I, I was supposed to be back yesterday. There was a little confusion. Anyway, Shannon was ready to go. Shannon was here. 
super awesome. She filled in for me the last couple of days. All right, well, I'm once again picked up on the uh, Lewis and Clark Trail. This time I'm on a scene, uh, Highway 12, so the scenic byway going through Idaho and into Montana. And uh, just take a look at this view. Just take a look at this view. Pretty awesome. So incredible out here. I pulled over because I saw this footbridge and walked down and wanted to come check it out. Well, I'm at uh, Salmon Lakes State Park in Montana. Not too far from Missoula, about uh, 40 miles. Tomorrow, I will be in Glacier National Park. But this, this wilderness area is, is much more to my liking. Uh, let me show you what I'm, what I'm looking at for this uh, one afternoon that I'm here. Isn't that gorgeous? Is it really any hiking in here? There's just a, like a little quarter mile trail that goes to right over there, the, the day use area for boating and, and uh, paddle boarding, stuff like that. But uh, the host told me, there goes a car, right across that highway there, goes into some uh, roads where you can hike. <clears throat> uh, not actual hiking trails, just you can go hike along there. And uh, this is bear country. Bring your bear spray, which I've got. So after I come down here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go across the road. Check it out. Forget this. Look over my shoulder. This is way too good to pass up. I'm going to get the kayak. This will be my first time taking it out since I've been on the road. So seven months. It's been uh, just packed wet. See you on the water. All right, roadies, we'll have about a 360 shot from uh, in the middle of the lake in the kayak. There's a skier. Skier. Oh, no, he's down. Skier's down. Oh, getting that boat's wake. They're gonna be rolling. Well, Montana's starting out pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's everything that's happened over the last two weeks. So I will uh, see you tomorrow in Glacier National Park.